guys it's jasmine here welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome back if you're not i forgot my intro i haven't said it in so long and if you're new here welcome to my channel if you're not welcome back today i'm going to be doing a little chit chat get ready with me slash makeup tutorial slash life update um really just a makeup tutorial because i wanted to give that to y'all i've been wanting to do a makeup tutorial for a while now so i'm just like why not do it today i actually just got out the shower did a little slick back for my hair and i already did my eyebrows but yeah we're just gonna get into it i'm gonna show y'all the products i use these are products you can get at any store um very affordable makeup tutorial you know i do have some high-end but i also have some drugstore so yeah i'm gonna just be showing y'all what i have Whew. This is one thing I need to learn is like how to control my voice when I'm talking. Okay, so like I said, um, I just got out of the shower. So I did already kind of, I did like my serums and stuff. I didn't put on my moisturizer because I wanted to show y'all the moisturizer I use. This is like perfect to use for um, before you do your makeup. If you want that natural glow under your makeup, this is the, um, this is the Pond's. I've been using this for a minute now. I really love this moisturizer. One thing about it though, it is very, um, the consistency is very thick. I don't know if y'all can see that. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at the mirror in front of me because, yes, I am in my bathroom. So, yeah, I'm not going to put too much because, like I said, it is very thick um, moisturizer. Yeah, I don't want to do too much. I don't want to do too much. But, yeah, so, okay, after I do that, I go in with my Elf Power Grip Primer. Y'all know about the Elf Power Grip Primer. If you don't know, you need to know. But yeah, this primer is basically kind of like a milk dupe. But it's just as good as milk because I've had milk primer before and it's just as good. They say with this, you really put pat it in. But I don't be doing that. I just be kind of like, well, I'm gonna pat it in, but I be smearing and patting. Okay, let me figure out if this is the light I want. Cause I think I don't want this one. Okay. Yeah, the other one I have was kind of looking too too white, and I don't really like that. Kind of like the yellow white a little bit. All right, so I got the Power Grip Primer on. As you can see, the skin is giving, and I already laid down my eyebrows. I just use Edge Control. I use Edge Booster to lay my eyebrows down. But anyway, so starting with my foundation, I use the Elf Liquid. Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I've been seeing good recommendations about this and I've been using this since December. It is now March, so this girl, she's she's my girl. But yeah, when I do this, I just put it really where I need most the most coverage. So like on my cheeks, you know, my lower half of my face, on my forehead, I barely put foundation, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all when I get to that step, but I kind of just kind of smear it on like this. And I might do some layers, honestly. But I try not to put too much under my eyes either because I put concealer, I put a good amount of concealer under my eyes so I'll be trying not to look too cakey. Cause this is a natural beat, y'all. I, I love me a natural beat. I don't like to do too much, so. This is what I'm doing. I'll go up to here with it because with my brush, I'm gonna blend, you know, further up. But yeah, let me give you guys a little life update. So, you know, in my last vlog, you guys seen that I went to New York City for Fashion Week. Um, fashion Week was a time, y'all. I had an amazing time for Fashion Week. But this time, y'all know I went to Fashion Week in September too. Because I vlogged part of that experience. It was part of one of my vlogs. But, oh, I'm sorry. Also, when I do my foundation, I go in with a brush. I used to blend my foundation with a beauty blender, y'all. But once I switched over to the brush, and I switched over to the brush in December, so I kind of got like this new routine three months ago, but yeah, the brush really, this is a foundation brush. I believe this is the e.l.f. foundation brush. I don't know, I got it from Walmart, but it's it really helps. But yeah, like I was saying, um, last time I went to New York, I went for five days in September for Fashion Week, but this time I went for 10 days, you guys, 10 days. I was out there for a minute. Don't forget to blend out your neck, y'all, because I hate when I be seeing that little line that people be having because they think they can only blend your face. No, babes. 
Linda Neck. But um, yeah, so this time I went for 10 days and it was, I had an amazing time, you guys. I did go for modeling, that is the main reason why I went because I've been trying to, you know, get myself out there, go to castings, make connections, meet people, all that good type of stuff. So that's why I've been out in New York more often. But um, yeah, so I just been doing that. I went to a lot of castings since I was out there for 10 days. I was going to castings like every day, like at least two to three castings a day. Um, I did have some chill days and my friends did come in town as well when I was out there. They came to, they came for fashion week. They came for like three days and then when they came, I spent some time with them. And it was really nice, y'all. Like, I didn't get to walk in, in any shows for fashion week, but I still got to experience a lot of castings. I made connections with designers and I got to meet a lot of people and it was just a good, you know, way to like get myself out there and make connections, all that type of stuff. Cause like I did tell you guys in my last vlog, I'm not signed to an agency yet. So it's kind of like everything that I do is kind of like freelance work. Like I have to make these connections myself. I have to, you know, find these castings myself and just put myself out there myself. I had opportunities to sign to agencies, but it's just like, some of them, it don't be good deal. Y'all gotta read that contract, you know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting for the right moment, honestly. But if I'm being honest with y'all, for real, for real, agencies been telling me like, girl, it's either move to LA or it's move to New York. And y'all know I stay in Atlanta, so it's like, I'm still trying to decide what I want to do. Like this year I am moving out. Well, the goal is to move out y'all this year, but um, I'm still trying to decide like, do I want to live in Atlanta? Do I want to live in New York? But y'all, New York is just like, it's so many cons for me and not that many pros. So I don't know, I'm still trying to decide. Yeah, so I just kind of blend it like that, like so. As you guys saw, I did not put that much on my forehead. Okay, so I just zoomed in a little bit closer for you guys so you can kind of see how the foundation is looking. I blend it evenly and now I'm about to get into the concealer. Yeah, but anyways, I'm about to go in with my Halo Glow contour stick. This is like a cream contour kind of. I just put these kind of like on my cheekbones, down my nose, and on my um, forehead. And then down my nose. I'm going to look into my compact mirror because I don't want to um, mess up by looking in this mirror. But yeah, I do always put my contour before my concealer just because I feel like it's easier to clean up contour that way and this is how I kind of do it I kind of do like a um, like a little circle around my nose with it and then I do it down the bridge of my nose like that and then I'll put like a little line right here what was I saying again the cons about me moving to New York so Y'all, it's so many cons. It's so many cons for me, I'm sorry. But like, con number one, hold on before I get into that. Then I'm gonna take my Halo Glow Highlighter. This is not what I used to highlight under my eyes, but I do put this on my nose so I can have an idea of where I'm going to place my highlighter. I just put it in the middle of my nose and then I put it down the bridge of my nose. I don't know if it's too bright in here or what, but that's what I do. And then I'm going to take my Too Faced Concealer this is in the shade Warm Sand. Oh my God, I have not been telling you guys the shades, but I'll put it um, on the screen. But this is in the shade Warm Sand, and I just do this how, you know, I just put this under my eye, kind of like a little triangle situation, um, like this. And I'll put a little line right here to go upwards, and then I'll put some on my chin. And lately I've been doing this thing where I bring it down to under my lip. I mean, under my nostrils. I kind of bring it down and then I'll go like this. I have this like highlighted effect you guys will see once I blend it out. But I don't know if they told y'all, but the key to a bright under eye is letting that highlighter sit, okay? As soon as you put it under your eye, do not blend it out. Let it sit for at least a minute. They said 30 seconds, but I like to let it sit for a minute because I feel like once I let it sit, that under eye is so bright. And that's the goal. Well, that's the goal for me. I love a bright under eye. But anyways, back to what I was saying. So the cons about moving to New York for me is one, the traffic is, y'all, the crowdiness is a no for me. Not only the crowdiness, I'm about to blend this out, but like, y'all, it's dirty. New York, I don't know 
what side of TikTok y'all probably be on, but y'all probably be looking at New York like, oh my God, it's a lot. Y'all, New York is dirty. It's very nasty. I just don't, it's just so dirty. It's to the point where it's like, after I go outside, let's say you wear a tracksuit, right? Sometimes when you just run into the store, like in Georgia, if I'm running to the store, I put on a little tracksuit, I could put it back up in my closet to wear another day. It's not necessarily dirty for me. It's kind of like store run, like, like, you know, quick store run. Anytime I leave in New York, whatever I put on has to immediately go into dirty clothes. Like, I don't know, it's just like so dirty. I'm always having to put on hand sanitizer 24 seven. Not saying that you shouldn't, you shouldn't already be doing these things, but it's just like the smells, the railings, the train, y'all. That's another thing, the transportation. I am not a fan of public transportation. I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan, y'all. I do not like public transportation. Okay, y'all, I realized while I was editing this, I was being a little OD dramatic, like I hate New York. I don't hate New York. I love New York. The food, the vibes, the people, all that. It's just a couple minor things, you know? But I just wanted to say that before y'all New Yorkers eat me up. Okay, bye. In the trains, it's just like the trains be cooling on when you're visiting and, you know, you're going around with your friends or going to get food, whatever. But to live there every day to get on the train. One time, the first time I went to New York, not first time, second time I went to New York in September for Fashion Week. Y'all, I had got on the train and literally missed my casting. Like, I didn't miss it all the way, but I was very much late because it was just like, it was too much going on. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, it was just a lot going on. So I was just like like what like i ended up going the opposite direction of where i was supposed to go and it took me another 30 minutes to get to where i was supposed to go like it's just too much but anyways this is where i come in with my beauty blender um my beauty blender is actually clean y'all i don't do too much just it'd be hard to get the foundation out but anyways yeah i'm about to blend my under eye concealer my concealer everywhere that i put it yeah like i was saying the transportation is just a lot on top of that, it's just a lot. New York is just a lot. But I have a great time every time I go out there. I love New York, but I'm just saying living there, I don't know. But at the same time, it's like, you gotta be willing to make sacrifices for the things you want in life, you know what I mean? Like, if I wanna be a model and they're telling me that's the best place for me to be, then it's like, you know, you kinda gotta think about stuff like that. And the only reason I'm stressing it so much is because I feel like I would wanna move to New York before I would move to LA, because LA is across the country for me. Um, New York is not too far from home, and I feel like, you know, it's closer to my family and stuff like that. But the only pros for me is the good food and the opportunity that's literally the only pros <laughs> i don't have that many pros um besides me being able to do what i would really want to do as a career which is a good pro but it's just like you know i don't know i don't know how i feel about that 100 percent anyways moving on what else is going on with me so y'all it's about to be airy season okay today is currently march 13th and my birthday is April 19th but you know airy season starts at the end of March it's about to be airy season y'all I'm super excited for that because me and my friends are going on a trip to Miami so it's gonna be my four friends five of us four friends not including me so me and four of my friends are going um one of us is also in Aries. Her birthday's April 9th. So we're kind of doing like a joint trip for our birthday, like you know, an Aries vacation in the in the yams. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Her name's Gianna. Y'all will see her on my channel because I will definitely be vlogging that trip. I'm gonna try to vlog like preparation for that trip so you guys can see, you know, what I end up doing to my hair and nails and all that type of stuff. So um yeah, I'm super excited for that. I have not been to Miami in like, what, three years now? And I normally try to go at least once a year because y'all know I'm from, that's where I'm from for real, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. I try to go out there once a year. When I was younger, like in high school, I used to go, go with my dad and like, you know, his side of the family once a year, but I haven't been since 2021, so. I'm super excited, y'all. I love Miami, I love Miami. Now, I may look crazy right now, but just please trust the process. So I try to get my concealer as close to my nose contour as possible before I start to blend it out. And this is like the most important part to me is blending out my concealer because if you don't blend out your concealer the right way, your base is gonna look horrible. But seriously, like that, I feel like this is the part 
This is the part that brings your face together, your concealer and your contour. And I just blend it all the way out. I used to honestly stop, never go past my eyebrow, but I've been trying to give more like this elevated look lately. So it's like, I will go past my eyebrow with it. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if I keep blocking y'all. Yeah, the concealer is mainly blend out except for the nose area. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the excess concealer that's on my brush and kind of put it down the bridge of my nose where I have put the liquid highlight. And I kind of just blend that out with my finger because I don't really put too much. So after I blend that out with my finger, I'm going to go in with one of my little brushes to blend out the contour around my nose, which is just basically like on the tip of my nose and down the bridge of my nose. Just kind of blend that out. And then after I blend it out, I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender to clean it up. Cause right now, as y'all see, it kind of look kind of messy right now, but I'm gonna fix it with my beauty blender. I just forgot to do this step when I was doing my cheeks. Cause y'all, for some reason, when I'm talking and trying to do my makeup, it never comes out the right way. Never. Okay, so after you blend that out, child, you blend that up. Then this is where I go in with my liquid blush. This is by Rare Beauty. This is a liquid blush that I use. And I just put this on my cheekbones so it can go down into my cheeks, basically. So I put it like this. Then I put some right here. I like to put a decent amount so when I set my face, you guys can still see it after I set my face. After I do that, I just kind of blend it out. I just decided to zoom in so you guys can see me kind of blend it out. Don't mind this. I know that looks crazy, but I'm not done blending it out. I take my same foundation brush, but I use the opposite side because this is the side I use for the contour. So I use this side and I will pat basically like so. And I will just, you know, blend that in upwards because I like my concealer. I mean, I like my blush slash bronzer to kind of go this area of my face. So as you can see, it blends into that concealer line so it doesn't look as harsh. And yeah, this is kind of how I like my blush to go on my face. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see the red tint or not, but it is definitely there. And I'm going to add a little bit more because I like a little bit, I like to look like a Barbie doll. I mean, like a baby doll. After this, I set my face. I add a little layer of concealer under my eyes. Um, just a little like right here, literally nothing too crazy. Like I said, under my eyes be creasing up. So I just like to add a little bit more concealer to, you know, get rid of that creasing that I had going on. But you know those little um, powder things that you use to set your face? Like I literally use that for my makeup and it's not here. I don't know where it is. So I'm going to have to use my beauty blender today to set my face. I normally don't use that. I normally use my little um, pressed powder thing. I'm gonna put a picture here so I don't know what I'm talking about, but dang, I'm really upset I don't have that. I'm going to blend out, like, as you can see, this is a harsh line, so then I'm going to take my little buffing brush and basically blend it out so it doesn't look crazy. Okay, okay. And this is the um, setting powder that I use is the Fenty Beauty in the shade Honey. Y'all, I love me some Fenty Beauty. I love me some Fenty Beauty. One thing about Rihanna, she don't play when it comes to anything that she does. Like her products, makeup, lingerie, you name it, is like top tier. I swear by her products, like y'all. But the lingerie, y'all, like not even lingerie, I'm trying to say bra like, the bras and underwear, top tier. Y'all, I'm just setting it like this. And the way I bake my face, I don't let it sit too long, honestly. I just kind of press it in because I don't really like that ghost look it's not really my vibe after i place it on my face then i just kind of like set it in basically i can set it anywhere i put my concealer even if i didn't put my concealer there i'm setting it so you just got to you gotta set your whole face babe y'all look at my shirt <laughs> look at my shirt ignore that while all that's setting before i dust it off I'm going to go in with my bronzer. This is actually what I've been using to look in the mirror. This is my Mocha Mommy by Fenty Beauty. Um, the shade is Mocha Mommy. Y'all know about Mocha Mommy, you know. I'm going to go in with that for bronzer and then I'm going to dust off the excess powder. You know, because I'm just letting it bake for a little bit. 
this is how much I use this bronzer, y'all. It's actually very hard to find. Like, you can't really get it in stores anymore because somebody exposed it on TikTok. You know how that go. So, y'all, I just use this as bronzer to warm up my face after I put all that setting powder on. Fun fact about me, when I was in high school, I actually used to do makeup. Like, the thing is, I never wanted to be a makeup artist, but I was always good at doing my makeup. And one time, I did my stepmom's makeup when I was in, um visiting my dad and she was just like oh my god i'm having this event can you do the makeup for all the women and it was like older women and i was just like i mean i'm not no makeup artist but hey i'll do anything for a check so child she signed me up and at the event i was over there doing their makeup and they really thought i was a makeup artist like they thought that's what i did for a living they like, oh my god she's so young and she's so good at makeup i was like 16. But y'all, I am not a makeup artist. Never wanted to be a makeup artist, but everybody like on my desk, like, they be telling me like, girl, why don't you just do makeup? You know how to do makeup. But it's like, just because I know how to do it don't mean I want to do that for a living. So now I'm dusting off the powder, setting it in at the same time. You ever just like, I've always been the type of person, I just do things so I don't have to pay nobody to do it. You get what I'm saying? Like, I learned how to do my makeup at a very young age. So I never have to pay nobody to do my makeup, no matter where I go. And also, the, another thing about it is I hate when people do my makeup. For some reason, the way makeup artists do makeup, I cannot stand it. This is no shade to the makeup artists. Like, I love y'all down, but it's just like, y'all just don't be getting me right. Y'all don't be getting my shade right. And I be looking so dark and like, face don't be matching the neck it just i've had bad experiences so i just prefer to do my own makeup and yeah i've been doing my makeup ever since i started when i was like what eighth grade i came a long way y'all i came a long way my makeup used to look crazy it never looked crazy but like my steps the things i used to do y'all as you guys just saw i just put some of the bronzer on my eyelid because i like a neutral base on my eyelid kind of like a reddish tone and that's what mocha mommy is it's kind of like a reddish bronzer so i put it on my eyelids because i don't want to leave it just looking white with the setting powder if you get what i'm saying oh my god the face is the base is eating and anywhere where i feel like it kind of looks not like one shade i will take my this is like a pressed powder this is by radiantly relax i've had this for a minute but this is like a little pressed powder i'll take and i'll put it like on the lower half of my face just in case it looks like you know not even just to kind of like even out my whole face set my whole face yeah what was i saying yeah i don't get my makeup done because i just prefer to do it myself period point blank next step i take my makeup revolution eyeliner i got this from target y'all so you can get this anywhere it has double size it has a thick side and a skinny side but i take this and i put it on my waterline so i can start doing my little eye look that i be doing i just started doing it so y'all gonna see i just put it under my waterline on each eye i've been loving eyeliner period i'm in my eyeliner area yeah so i'll do the same on the other side all right so now that i have the eyeliner under both sides i'm going to add my fake moles while i have the eyeliner out i actually do have real moles in two of these areas but you know when i do my makeup it kind of covers it up so i'm just really bringing it back but i do add a fake one right here if it's too dark you just kind of tap on it and that's that i don't know if y'all can see them but there they are now i head on to my eyeliner look that i do so basically i take an angled brush and i take my contour palette this is a like powder contour palette this is by radiantly relax as well i take this i take the darkest shade and i use this as eyeliner because i don't sometimes i like the liquid eyeliner look but sometimes it's too to me honestly sometimes it's just too dramatic so i prefer uh like eyeshadow eyeliner basically okay so i'm about to basically go under my eye and make it darker and then i'm going to make a wing eyeliner with the contour palette so after i make it darker it kind of makes it look more smudged i don't know but then i'm going to make a little wing with it and i just like to go upward so i'm going to show you guys how i kind of clean it up with the concealer Then I just set it with some setting powder. And I'm gonna do the same to the other eye. Back. 
Hey you guys, I'm done with the eyeliner. Okay, now that I'm done with the eyeliner, I now do my highlight. So I use the same palette right here for highlight. A little on the bridge of my nose. Like that. Keep this bow. Then I do a little bit on my chin and my forehead because I just love to glow. I want to put my blush on, my powder blush. I'm going to be using my ColourPop blush. This is in the shade Cheerio. Oh my God, that's so cute. Cheerio. This is kind of like a more plum powder blush, which is super cute. Kind of work it up a little bit. I kind of put some on my nose right here. So after that, I then do my mascara and my lip combo. And that'll be it for me, y'all. I don't know if y'all heard that new Ariana album, but I use my NYX lip liner. This, okay, so my last video, somebody had commented like, oh, show us your lip combo tutorial. Y'all, the lip liner I use, my sister lost it. So I had to go back to my little NYX lip liner, but the lip liner that I was using in my last videos, my last couple videos, I'm still gonna put the name right here because it's so good, y'all need to get it. It's actually by Juvia's Place, but this is NYX, so. A little brown lip liner, I'm crazy. I like to overline the bottom so it has a little shadow. And boom. After I do that, just kind of blend it. I'll even blend it a little bit with a brush so it's no harsh lines. But I'm about to do my mascara. This, y'all, I don't even want to show you guys, but it's pretty bad. Yeah, I'm gonna put the name right here. It's really good. It's basically a dupe for Better Than Sex. Mascara, Too Faced Better Than Sex. But this is literally the same thing for a cheaper price. So I'm gonna be doing top and bottom lashes. Um, Y'all probably won't be able to see the mascara. Not that y'all can't see it, but the lashes that I have, they go straight forward. They don't curl. So, I mean, they curl, but not that much. Now I'm about to do my bottom lashes. I'm going to finish my lips. I'm gonna go in with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and put it in the middle. Um, this is in the shade Istanbul. It's really pink. Um, this is not the one I use all the time, but I lost the other one, so this is the one I'm using right now. After that, I go in with my clear gloss. This is my Fenty Beauty. This is just a Fenty Beauty clear gloss. I go in with that on top of my lips. And period. Put that in. I go in with my NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Creme Brulee. Put that over. After that, I'm going to add like a little dash of this Benetton lip stain. I also use this as blush, but I want like a little, you know, I want like a little reddish tint. I'm just gonna get one of my little brushes and do a inner corner using the same highlight that I use for the rest of my face. I'm gonna set my face with my Max. <laughs> I'm gonna set my face with my Mac Fix Plus setting powder. I mean setting spray y'all I'm just all over the place just saying whatever but yeah this is what I'm gonna use this is also primer you can use as a primer as well but yeah I'm gonna use that setting spray today I'm gonna air it out okay thank you guys for tuning in to this um chit chat get ready with me slash makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys want to see more of in the comments and please like comment subscribe let me know if you guys like this video and i'll give you guys more you know what i'm saying but i'll see you guys in my next video guys